Right, now that we have the R Studio working, we can now play with R. I have downloaded here the CSV file for Exercise 1. And Exercise 1, if we take a look at the Moodle site again, we can see that it's asking us to answer 10 questions. And specifically, we have to write the R commands that would display or satisfy these queries. So let's go ahead and do that. What I want to do is to tell R that I want it to look at my desktop so that it could work with the file that I've placed in my desktop. How do you do that? First, I have to set the working directory. However, this is a Windows system, meaning the, the path to the desktop will be somehow different from the thing that we're using in the labs. So, in order to be safe, we must first get the working directory so that we have an idea of the path in Windows. So, get working directory. That's the path in Windows. And if you can observe, Users Butler is equivalent to your home students. Butler is here because Butler is the name of my computer. Students is in the lab. Students is in the labs because students is the name of the computers that you are using. Okay, so we have to configure. You have to set the working directory to. You may just copy this, right? I can just simply copy this. Okay, copy. And I go back here. I paste the stuff. But however, Instead of looking at the documents, recall that your documents folder is alongside your desktop folder. Instead of looking at the documents, I have to look for it in the desktop. I have to point it, I mean, I have to point it to the desktop. And you do it this way. Set working directory, users, put their desktop. Now it's looking at my desktop. If we try to read the CSV file, okay, basketball.csv. Notice that the file gets read. 